everybody. Okay, where's the link? Uh, <laughs> Hello everybody. So just gonna set up uh, say 845. Uh, okay. Let's open back the exam. <clears throat> I got this one. And So we are doing not a choice. We're doing You guys hear me? If you are in the chat, can you just say something? Hey. <laughs> I guess it's the same uh, link for everybody. I mean, every time. Just gonna post it again. start with the 2014 exam if you don't have the link it's this one 2014 exam voting pool Tonight, no music, huh? <laughs> Fourteen people, fifteen. Who's in there? Say hello. Where's my stuff? 
tape wiper. I've been printing all the stuff. Yoza. Hey Aiden. Hey Dicky. Hey Vika. Six 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 six. One. <laughs> How's everyone's studies? Easy? Difficult? tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna go catch crabs. Have you ever gone catch crabs? Because um, some of my friends we're going to like a beach you just have to take your little cage into the sea and then wait like a uh, one hour 30 minutes and then poops there's some little crabs inside. I think the place we're going is at Way poo. Don't even know where that is. Um. Fuck. Way poo, that's like how far from here? Drive up north, Waipu Beach. <laughs> yeah, um, if somebody could take maybe like notes of all the answer that we got and later uh, later on post it on the facebook page so that everyone got it because i mean it'd be cool if everyone get just all the 50 percent from the multi-choice correct so everyone are sure to pass just need to bullshit the rest of part b and then uh, every everything's gonna be fine So for part B, it's only uh, procurement and contract administration. Huh? That's what she said. Huh? Because I mean, that's the only thing I'm gonna study. So. What do you mean? See you next year, six six six. Five minutes. Hopefully, more people get on.
charge. <sighs> so everybody's keen to do a group photo after the exam. Or maybe get a feed somewhere. Celebrating our three years together. I think next time I try to get a software where I could invite people so we could actually talk because <laughs> it's just me right now I feel so lonely <laughs> yeah I mean it'd be good to see everybody because I don't know who else will come back for master next year hopefully most of you and yeah anyway the industry is so small i'm sure we'll see each other again huh? even auckland so small checked somewhere uh, I was looking there was a question about who owns the copyright of the drawing like the unmodified version and I think actually the client owns the copyright unless the architect modified the contract saying that he wants to keep it um, I've seen it somewhere in the notes let me see I think it was in the hmm. Where do you see that? was one about intellectual property so it was here um, I provide a such works has been commissioned by a client copyright in the works is vested in the client as commissioning party and the client and architect can contract out the provision of commissioning rules in the act by including a written confirmation that copyright is vested in the architect so like the unmodified version the client will have the copyright if it's modified, architect can keep it. Okay, it's nine o'clock. We got thirty-three people. Let's start. Okay, everybody are on the voting page. So first question of the two thousand. 14 multi choice. The process of registration of architect in NZ is legislated specifically by. I think this one's pretty easy. I think in most of the exam they have it. <clears throat> I think I'll wait till there's like 10 votes and if we see there's a clearly a winner we'll just go on to the next one and which is the case for this one
So like most people, did the New Zealand Restraint Architecture Board. But I even choose B. But actually, uh, I'm reading again the sentence. The process of registration is less easy. Yeah, I kind of understand why some people choose A. Because the legislation is the act. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, like the board are the one that um, do the exam and stuff, but then... Uh, hmm. Not too sure on this one now. <laughs> but yeah, most people do B, but... Yeah, it's legislated by the act, but then it's like enforced by the architecture board, I think. I don't know, it's a bit tricky on the words here, but uh, I guess we have to be careful on, on this. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next question. The process of registration. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, quantity surveyor. Yeah, I think it's the act for the first one because they talk about legislation. And if we look back at some of the other exam, <coughs> I think it's about like enforcing uh, the act. So that's the NZ rep, but the legis legislation itself, that's the yeah, architect act. Okay. Um, so sh should be enough. 12. So provide a schedule of quantities yeah quantity severe the QS that's the guy who take care of the cost next question the code of minimum standard of ethical conduct <coughs> I must just highlight the the ones that people voted for. Come on, a bit more votes. Okay. Um, next. So most people choose C. Is included in the registration architect rules. When an architectural practice is set up as a partnership. OK, 
Okay, most people agree on this one. So it's C. The partner are joint and severally liable for debts and obligation of the partnership. Regional Council So it's the control management of natural resources. Uh, peer insurance. Think mm, if I'm correct, it's a personal indemnity insurance. So most people picked A. Hmm. I mean, like I said, because uh, there's seven, four, and three. I'm not sure if it's the right answer, but that's what most of us think. So if you think that your answer is correct and you choose something different, just make sure that you check on your own. Subconsultant. So most people pick C, may be employed by the architect. An abbreviated elemental estimate. So we got C. Yeah. 
Uh, actually, I didn't even know what was the answer for this one. Do you know which um, lesson do you need to look that for? Is it under? Yeah, maybe this is like an estimate slide or something, but I'll have to look that later on. Uh, next question. Design documentation guidelines. But do you know which lesson is that like the number nine six seven? I'll have to look right. People pick A, I published by the NZ Construction Industry Council. Overheads. Thanks, Dickie. I'll have a look. Thanks, Alana. Okay, um, answer B. I'll include in the charger rate calculation. The time charge fee. <laughs> Easiest way stuff are slow workers. <laughs> So D is used when where the level and quantum of required work is unknown. Okay, let's go to the next page. You in using the NZI guide to architect charge graph publication to choose a possible percentage fee rate that might be quoted to the client. The percentage
Okay. So the answer are D increase as the project value decrease. Because if you look at that graph you can see like um, on the left side the y direction that's like the value and oh I don't know but the, the curve is going from up to down as it gets more expensive the percentage usually decrease because otherwise it'd be super rich uh, under the term of the NZIA AAS agreement the responsibility to provide the brief lies with on that one so it's B lies with the client a limb Not even sure about this one as well. Six six six. Okay, maybe can we get a bit more votes? Because I mean, as you can see, it's pretty close. At least we'll know which which one people think it's not. <laughs> um, next, so most people choose B is issued by the regional council, but as you can see, six five five. Um, let me just go check again in the slides what LEM means. Yeah. Oh well, I've selected B as well because I mean the other one I wasn't too sure. And yeah, it's not A. Uh, and because I think like the address, status, and requirement, maybe those kind of thing will be in the certificate of title or. Uh, yeah, just kind of thing, but we need to check. Uh, so I've skipped this part. Uh, so I'm just going to go to this multi choice the Resource Management Act. Big A, promoted the sustainable management of the natural and physical resources of New Zealand. Oh. Mm. Is it the 2014 that you clicked on? 
I know, like the, the link. I think I posted the link on, on Facebook, just make sure that you click the right one. If you can't open it, maybe it's because we already started the pool, so that's why... Oh, I'm not sure. I guess maybe that's why. Uh, even though we're like 30, only like usually 20 people vote. Maybe you guys. Can. Is there any, any other people who can't vote or can't open the pool? Okay, um, so it's a tie between B and C, the owner or the architect. Uh, I personally pick B because most people say C because that's the architect who's doing the building content drawing and everything but usually when you submit the the consent like on the form it's not the name of the architect it will be the name of the owner so it's well where I work usually like the owner will come to the office and then the architect will tell him, oh, okay, I can drop it for you, but you have to sign all the papers. So that's why it's the responsibility of the owner, in my opinion. Um, did you guys see somewhere else where it was the responsibility of the architect, like written in one of the lesson? So in the notes, what does it say? Does it say it's the architect or the owner? Yes. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna highlight the two so people can go have a look and check for themselves. Um, let's go to the next question. Estate in fee simple. Answer B is a freehold land title. Next question. A life estate. Hello. Did you manage to get on the pool? Okay, 
so we got 15 votes so most people pick C enable a person to live on the property for the duration of their life then the property reverts to a named third party or the grantor transferable development rights So most people picked A, allow airspace above certain building to be sold to other developers. Marginal strip club. Okay, um, so C, refer to the land that adjoins waterways. I think on one of the slides they were talking about like the Waikato rivers and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a uh, waterways. Next, Maori customary land. Okay, uh, so it's, it's difficult to develop as money not easily able to be borrowed. Uh, next question. For trespass to occur, the following must happen. the lipstick okay 
Okay, so most people voted for D. The unlawful entry to another's land may be one of event that interfere with the ordinary use and enjoyment of the land and damage doesn't need to occur. Next page. The tour of private nuisance may occur when Come on guys, let's get at least 15 votes on this one, because I'm sure it's going to be a hard one. Okay, seems people are a bit hesitant on for this question, but let's see the results. So there's a tie between D and C. One of event or continuing event. Yeah, well, it might not be, but just in case, you never know. Because I thought that it might not be in the exam, but for the the writing part at the end, but yeah, because I mean the multi choice questions, they, it's quite mixed. But it's good for you to learn anyway. <laughs> Project can be tendered using PNG and margin to obtain a competitive price. calling at this time. Oh well, they just hanged up. So. <laughs> okay, so answer is D. At the procurement stage to open a contractor. Damage square should not be it should be continuous. So you're saying it needs to be B then. I guess there's three answers that we need to check for. Okay, so coming back to the answer, so we pick most people pick D. Okay, let's go on. 
tendering a project. Another one that's a bit. We got another tie. Okay, let's see the results. So there's a tie between A and D. Provide a competitive format for selecting contractor based on selected criteria. And D. Enable the lowest price to be achieved. Anybody want to type in their reason for selecting their choice? I was always a bit confused when they said based on the selected criteria. Um, I know that in, in the notes they were saying they usually the best procurement method help so the key, the key criteria would be time, cost, control, quality, size and complexity um, but that usually at the end the client will look at the price um, so yeah I personally pick D um, yeah, so that's just like what Ben said. The criteria could be subjective. Like uh, some people might um, really focus on the quality. They don't care about the price much or, yeah. Yeah, okay, so most, some people think it's price. Okay, um, let's go to the next question. In a construction management procurement model, Okay, let's see the result on this one. So it's either B. Oops. Or D. Um, uh, I actually, well, I personally picked because if you look at the charts here uh, let me see if I can see is it in yeah can you see Coco? so like the construction managers at the top so he managed the workers and the design team 
but then there's a line that's connecting here it just means i guess that the architect still reports to the client so that the client still have some uh, uh, input on the, the design but then he's managed by the construction manager So, so how are you are you for B or D? Mm. Um, but anyway, like uh, like I said, just check later on your own. Uh, let's go to the next question. Contract admin. Uh, whether or not a bonus for early completion exists. Okay, another tricky one. Um, let's see the answer. B or A? Um, I haven't really studied that part yet, so don't have any input on what could be the correct answer. Uh, but need to check later on. The reason for when the variation is allowed. But I mean, uh, maybe if you find some information about the answer for that, maybe you can screenshot the question and maybe attach it with another image showing where you got the answer or your answer and maybe post it in the best page so people can can check Um, next, uh, so most people pick A, study condition of contract. Deletion of standard clause and new additional clause relating to dispute resolution procedure.
People big C special condition of contract. What the amount of retention are under the contract? specific condition retention So most people pick A, a pre-agreed sum of money held back from payment due to the contractor at each progress payment until the end of the defect liability period. Under the SCC contract, the set out the side is the responsibility of Okay, most people have voted for C, the contractor. The contract works may be suspended by the contractor if This one is pretty logical. Okay. Uh, most people pick B. The principal has not paid the contractor. A bonus for early completion.
So most people picked A. Well, everybody picked A. A pre agreed sum paid from the principal to the contractor. What is 36 answer? 36. People picked A. Okay, um, let's go back. For project works to exist in the building, the contract work insurance is the responsibility of. And this is the important word existing building. Cass and Barry, are you voting for question 40 or was it your answer for question 36? Okay, um, so for 40, that's the principal. Usually, if it's the a new building, that would be the contractor. Okay, so that's it for 2014 multi choice. Um, we can take a break, like a 10 15 minutes, and if you guys want, we can go over. Um, 2013 or if you want the stage of project I don't know which one do people want to do most anyway we'll just come back in uh, in 10 minutes and then yeah I think maybe do the I don't know, do you guys want Okay, let's close that. Uh, um, yeah, okay. So everybody is on the the voting pool. If you don't have the link, it's this one. So I think this question that was for 2015. Oh, let me go back. Is it yep. So it's this one.
I don't know, I'm just asking uh, for the break because some people last night wanted a break between um, the two exams. But if everybody's okay, keep going. I mean, I don't mind, I I I'm okay. I got my Doritos here already, so. Shit. Maybe they shouldn't say Doritos, maybe it's just some normal work, I can Actually, what do you call Doritos? Like this... What's the name of it? Like if it wasn't for the brand. Um, nachos? No, it's not that. Oh, is it tortilla or something? Yeah, corn chips, yeah. Yep. Okay, um... Let me close this one now. So most people voted for procurement. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's like because I mean I've I've seen procurement here, so I guess that's what I picked procurement. Um, I don't think there will be contract administration because that would be that's the stage where they already decided already picked the contractor, so I don't think they could come go back. Um, yeah, I don't think it's this one as well. What do you mean got his own mic? It's just that my mic is super... It's good so he can pick up... All the sounds. Mm. Uh, 2015. Name the stage where a quantity surveyor might first become involved in a project. No broccoli tonight. Okay, um, so most people voted for concept design and preliminary design. Next question Name the stage where forty percent of the retention are released. This one I'm not sure. people picked
Hmm. Did you see that in in the notes, Ben? So, yeah, just check if it's between contract administration and defect. Name the stage where the structural engineer will provide specific information. Yeah, I know that um, like retention I release a contract and have <laughs> So now we got it one at practical completion. So I guess it would be what Ben said, if if it's uh, practical completion achieved. So normally after that, that's the when the defect liability period starts. So. One detailed design that's when the engineer comes in, and that's usually where he provides like a producer statements and all the calculation. Uh, B uh, most people pick concept design, that, that's when the first time the, the QS start to get involved. Name the stage where the contract variation may be instructed by the architect. So most people picked contract admin. Uh, next question. Name the stage where architect fees is first agreed. People pick pre design. Can I tap pre design here? Oh, that's useless. Um, next question Name the stage where possible deferred works can be agreed between all parties.
Okay, so most people picked contract admin and observation. Next question. Uh, name the stage where the bond milieu of retention is released. Okay, uh, we got a split uh, final account and defect. Not sure about this one as well, but uh, you guys can look into it. Name the stage where the architect clarifies information for potential contractor. people pick procurement next question name the stage where the building consent will be lodged and issued <laughs> sorry guys uh, I think on this one I forgot to put one um, option. <laughs> yeah, actually the answer should be detailed design, but I forgot to put that as a. <laughs> it's detailed design, um, as you can see here, at the bottom. Detail design, building content application. It was a trick question. But it, it's detail design. So just pick anyone just to get the vote going. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Uh. I think uh, this one I went to two thousand fourteen, but.
contract admin. Okay, guys, I need to stop the the pool first because uh, I missed one of the options. Like I didn't put detailed design on any of the other questions, so I'm just gonna stop, and then you just have to refresh when I I saved it again. Damn, I couldn't even add it. I guess if one of the answer is detailed design, just type it in the chat if you think that's what it is. Because uh, I can't edit the, the pool because it's been saved. Skip through to the questions. Okay, uh, we can vote, but if you think it's detailed design, just type in the chat because, um, yeah, I forgot to add that as an option. Uh, this is 2014 yeah 2014 okay so most people um, concept and preliminary design uh, I actually picked developer design because they were saying reasonable level of detail and because if you look at the second question the first stage where project can be costed to assist the client in deciding whether or not to proceed uh, like I would have answered for this one the concept stage so he knows okay it's a bit too expensive I might not do it um, but yeah I mean that's my opinion
Shout out to JP. Okay. Um, so, yep, yeah, most people pick concept design. Um, And next question it says we're provisional sum I expect expected or spent. Okay, uh, uh, um, this one I, I'm I'm not sure because um, I know in procurement stage you don't actually spend any money procurement that's when you look for a contractor and that's when you prepare documents sent out but you don't spend any money I think at this stage um, I pick um, defect because I thought that's where money would have been spent for some because I think provisional sum is when you put money aside in case something happens and I don't know what do people think what did you guys put uh, procurement? So where would you put that in, Ben? Because I'm just confused with the word expended and spent. For me, that's when they pay something. But yeah, just need to um, Google provisional sums then. <laughs> uh, the stage where specification is written. Okay. Um, my answer for this one is detail because uh, it's not in the in the option, but. That's where I'll do my specification. If you think it's detailed, don't vote. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's, it's detailed design. Uh, so we're just going to skip that question. Um, 
Yeah, it's detailed design. If you can look at the diff, there's a um, specification. Stage where retention are collected. <laughs> This one's a bit tricky because I mean, uh, in the notes there's retention at two different stage. Okay, uh, so there's a t <laughs> defect final account and contract admin. Um, yeah, this one's a bit tricky, yeah, because I think in in all those stages you actually get retention released um, well I I'm in the setting to def defect and final account because in defect you get part of the retention and in the final account you get the final retention because for me I wouldn't put contract admin because the end of the contract admin would be uh, practical completion and that's when um, like they start to note the, the defects or the things that they need to change and I think after that when they agree that they'll fix it and they start to the defect liability period that's when um, oh so when the work is completed um, shit no <laughs> the thing is yeah maybe you're right Liv because if you look at the, the notes uh, and the defect liability periods when all works are completed, discharge rest of retention. Rest of retention. So it means that some retention were released before that. Yeah, I get. I I would go with contract admin. have to do more research next question stage where the principal bond is released If you read again here, sometime a task may be performed in more than one stage, but there will always be a best fit for the example given. I guess if you were to say any of the three answers that we picked, I'm sure she would still give you a point.
Okay, so for the principal bond, most people pick final account settlement period. Next question. Uh, the stage with the minor defects and omission are corrected and completed. Defect liability period. Next question. The first stage where the architect considered the possible documentation that may require for the project. It's on pre-design. Pre-design. The stage where the architect issue notice of tender. Answer is procurement. That's when they look for contractors. Okay, um, so now we're gonna go to 2013. 2013. And I also forgot to add detail, so if you think it's detail, just type in detail in the chat. Don't say nothing. Eight people voted for contract admin. Usually, variation price request is when they start the work, they realize they didn't uh, quote it well, so they ask for more money. Liquidated damage. Amounts are first seen by the contractor.
Okay, let's see the results. Defect or contract? Hmm. Uh, what do you guys think? I would have put it in, into the contract because I think the end of contract is practical completion and then the, that's where they start to make a list of all the things they fucked up and the liquidity damage is uh, like money put aside or like money agreed by the contractor to pay the principal in case he fucked up and he can't finish um, I don't know, but we have to look into it. Shout out to Dave. Hey, Dave. Okay, so most people picked uh, defect liability periods. Next question. Uh, the later stage where monetary allowance can be finally calculated and settled. Finally. <laughs> Shout out to Manish. <laughs> Is JP even on? Must be playing some uh, CSGO. Why are you talking about somebody else, mom? You're gonna get wrecked. account settlement periods uh, the stage when a bond in lieu of retention is applicable needs to be in place
Okay, we got a tie between procurement and contract admin. Um, I don't know. I have to look into the slides. Final question. The stage when working drawings are associated calculation are carried out. Let's see who's going to be the first one to vote. Any more votes? Uh, the answer is detailed design. That's uh, the notes. Yeah, it's in the working drawings are usually done in the detailed design. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yep. Yep, it's detailed design. For the last question, F, the working drawings are done during the detailed design phase. And that's when you get the calculation from the engineer and all those stuff. Okay, well, um, that's it for the stages. Huh? Um, yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I think it's enough. Uh, maybe if you have time, we can do 2013 on tomorrow if you want to for the multi choice. And maybe go over some of part B. I'll try to understand it a bit more. But um, <sighs> no problem. I mean, it helps me as well. So yeah, maybe tomorrow. I about the same time we'll go over part B but because um, for this part it's a bit more complex so make sure that everyone looks into it so if you have any comments that could help in everyone so just be good to share doesn't need to be just say what you think is right and then we can discuss And, and if somebody have taken notes of all the things that we've done for 2014, just post it up in the best page. Like maybe just some photos. We all know what Jay's doing. Okay, um, good night everybody. Oh, I'm sure you'll be studying still. Uh, but uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.